David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment and a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right field that jumped and couldn't get it, just to the right of the 380 foot marker. MLB Network has baseball coming your way from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Robert Gesellman gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with his 30th start in this ball game. Now at the plate, Trey Turner. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight. 57 degrees at game time. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, Matt, this is one of those throwback lineups for me. I mean, you're talking about speed from top to bottom. They will bunt. They will hit and run. They'll play that small ball game and go after you. But also, you leave a guy at second and you blink, he's on third. They love to run. They're coming after you. So striding forward now, Adam Eaton, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. One out, nobody on. Over for a look here is Cespedes, but he won't have a play. It's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. Second baseman. Into the box now. Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. Flores has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Tanner Roark will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with his 30th start in this ball game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. On the ground to the left side. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Well, that's playing within his game right there. The speedster gets a little infield single, and now he's on to do damage. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. The set and the one one pitch takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Well he took a pitch right there a fastball middle end most of the time you're looking to swing at but with the guy on first that can run pretty good. Maybe he's trying to let him pick a pitch to run on. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Hit back up the middle. Throws in time, and that's out number one. 
with a moment here in Flushing Meadows. Let's meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. One and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. One out and a runner on second base. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Worth is under it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Batting fourth. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. One and one, here it is. This is line to left. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. Reyes is on his way home. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. This is why it's so important to give your cleanup hitter an opportunity to hit with runners in scoring position. He does just what he's supposed to do, lacing a double and driving in a run, just like you draw it up. In now, David Wright. Out of play. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Now, a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More from MLB Network, Saturday Baseball, after this. Into the box, Bryce Harper. As we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm Anthony. looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. In now is Anthony Rendon. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. Sent out to straightaway center field. Lagares is under it. Two down. Batting six. First base. Here's Adam Lynn. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready with the 1 1 now to Lind. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores is there. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. They're down 1 0. Digging in, Wilmer Flores. At the moment, he's got a 270 batting average for the season. One and one, here it comes. Ball. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Harold, these Nationals is the interplay here tonight. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. 
Yeah, Matt, it's been a little bit of a struggle. One and three on the road trip. You never want to be in that position. But you try to pick up as many wins as you possibly can. That's why this game today is important. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Wieters. Biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Wieters, nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. The 2 and 1 on its way. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's 3 and 1. Pitch on the way. Called a strike, and it's full 3 and 2. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Juan Ligares. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll get down for a two-out single. So worst case scenario, a two-out base hit, and the pitcher will not lead off next inning. Well, that base hit right there is his 12th game. He's got a base hit now in a row. You start thinking about it, everybody around the country is paying a little more attention to him. This is where the pressure starts to mount. Let's see how long he can carry this streak. Stepping in now, Robert Gesellman. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Hey, good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Ready with the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Squared that one up just a little late. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly by Lind. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Mets one, and the Nationals nothing. Here's Jason Warren. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And there's your first out of the inning. And with one away, time for a quick check of the standings. As you see these guys on top of the division and clear by a good four and a half games entering play. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Here it comes. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first, two down. Stepping into the box, Tanner Roark. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Hey, Matt, you're the pitcher. There's two outs, nobody on. You're letting it fly, right? I'd be doing the same thing like he just did right there. Two big swings, and he has nothing yet. Ligaris is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Nationals gone in order. They trail this one one to nothing. 
Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. The one and two pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Another one two delivery. And another foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled them off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. Ready for another chance. T.J. Rivera 0 for 1 here in the early going. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And this is down at the knees but called a strike. Wow it's three and two now. From the belt kicks and deals. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. He's running again. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Reyes rounds the corner and is headed home. And they will not get Reyes at the plate as he's in there safely. Well, when you leave a pitch that high in the zone like that, you have to expect bad things to happen. So instead of a double play ball, he gives up a shot to the outfield, and that brings the runner all the way around from first to score. Into the box, Michael Conforto. As he swings and hits a laser to right. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. The tag and they got him at third. It's a double play. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One and one. Here it comes. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Harper. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. Three complete from City Field. It's now 2 0 New York. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and starting out the inning it'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch hot shot on the ground is short Reyes takes it in throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth. Center fielder digging in two. for his second at bat Adam, Adam Eaton. Eaton he's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have his lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. The 2 2 one more time. 
A swing and a high drive to right center field. Lagaris ranging back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets, two, and the Nationals, nothing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. Murphy's got it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The batter, number four. Striding in once time. again, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Harper has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Stepping Patrick. in and ready for another shot, Travis, Travis Darno. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. 0 oh and 2, here it comes. On he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Murphy. He's got it, and the side is retired. The Mets go down one, two, three, but they hold a two-nothing lead. Stepping up to the plate, Bryce Harper. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. Third baseman, number in two. now is Anthony Rendon. Anthony comes into Rendon. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The pitch. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Anthony Rendon connects on a solo shot. 24 home runs for him on the season, and the Nationals are on the board, trailing 2-1 to one now. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. In now, Adam Lind. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Up next for the National. Here's Jason Ward. Oh for one for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A little bouncer that winds up foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two lifted in the air to straightaway center. Lagaris has a read on it and the inning is over. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Here's Juan Lagares, one for one after a single his first time up. Now the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. The throw into second. 
And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Standing in now, Robert Gesellman. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll just scoop this away to make sure it stays foul. So we'll see if they keep the bunt on here with two strikes. Here's the one and two delivery. Bunt sign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Outside, two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Now a spin and another throw back to second, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Set. Here's the 3 1. And that's off his leg on the mound. Well, that's his third hit of the game, and I know infield single, but he doesn't care. Man, three hits in a ball game, he'll take it. Trying to pick things up where we left off. TJ Rivera, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Takes a high fastball for a strike. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Line toward right center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. He had two men on base, and he delivers a clutch one-out double to bring one home and leave the other 90 feet away. That's what you want from everyone in your lineup, that clutch gene to deliver when it matters. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Drive the run in. Again, he sends it out of play. Working for the punch out and the offering. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness the against him. 52. He was putting up a good fight Joe and Lennon. fouling a lot of balls That's off. So bad. as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this one is gone, a home run. So a three-run shot to left center, number 35 now on the season. And it's now a six-to-one ball game. He hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. A 
on his way out to the mound now the Washington manager and he's looking to the bullpen here so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just right, four and two point. thirds and he's now on the hook for the L point. unless this one turns number around. Three. Vance Worley is going to take over here in inning number five so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Stepping in now David Wright. He's fallen behind now three and one. Well that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down so he called it a ball. Throw it down you get the strike. And he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately Wilmer, walks the four, first man he faces. Baseman, Wilmer. Ready Flores. once again Wilmer Flores. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Oh and he can't come up with it. Right. Rounds third and is digging for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away which I don't think is the best pitch anyway. You better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Standing in now, Travis Darno. Nope. And oh boy, that pitch nearly got him in a bad place as he had to hit the dirt that time. It's ball four. Center Digging in once 12. again, Juan Ligaris. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Now another 2 2. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that terminology, stay inside the ball right there. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Into the box now, Robert Gesellman. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Look, two and zero oh to the pitcher in this situation with the bases loaded. You have to challenge him, make him swing the bat. The two and one on its way. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Bases are loaded here, two down. Sent on the ground out to second. Murphy has it. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. But not before five crossed the plate, with the big blow being this three run home run. We're through five innings here tonight, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Here's the catcher, Matt Weeders, now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. One and two, here it comes. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Ryan Zimmerman will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Zimmerman. Shot back up the middle. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference.
Into the box, Trey Turner. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a high pop-up. Rivera is there for it. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for Washington. They're down seven to one. Joe Nathan gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. Lifetime versus this arm, a three for seven line. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Worth going back. Still going back. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo home run for Jose Reyes. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And this is now a seven run ball game. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. And there's ball two now. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Base is empty here with nobody out. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Well, that was a pretty good pitch right there. A little bit late. That's why he wasn't able to catch it right there in his wheelhouse. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter, right fielder, Michael Conforto. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside the part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it.
Two and one now to Cespedes. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. David Wright would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a knee high fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's the Mets eight and the Nats one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Digging in to try it again, Adam Eaton. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here it comes on one and one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This is hit on the ground, but foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave them out there now. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Well, he loses them there, but that's just the first right walk he's given 34. up, along with a couple of hits. Right. So his command Harper. has been pretty solid so far. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First and second here with nobody out. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. And that's going to be high two and two now. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. All even at two and two. Here it is. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ligaris racing back. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with third one gone. So a beautiful Anthony running catch on display Rendon. that time as we get a look at it again with show track. He took a solid route, covered quite a bit of ground, 110 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. That's a catch to remember. In now, Anthony Rendon. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way, and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. 
Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he receives an isolation from this home crowd departing after surrendering just one earned run. Rafael Montero enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Adam Lind will be the first to meet him here and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Grounded back up the middle. Bare handed for one. And a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the one. Hey, they couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. Ready once again, Jason Worth. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do. But the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. The 1 2 pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Backhanded. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So one run here on it's one hit, no errors, and three men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Mets lead this one eight to two. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one. Hey that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Set to deliver on two and one. And that slider must have been low. It's ball three. Well this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and one to three and one and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level oh that's one he's going to want back right there a fastball right in your wheelhouse and you foul it off in the air out to right Harper has a read on it one down the batter number four second baseman Wilmer Flores trying to pick things up where he left off Wilmer Flores he's got a hit in three at bats to this point into the windup ready with the payoff pitch swing and a liner but foul one out nobody on. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Two and one. Yep. 
the two and one on its way and a fastball just a bit high. Runner at first here one man out. And he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball man the pitchers wondering how he didn't get that call busted him inside on a three one count the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that though. Here's Juan Ligares. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Slider stayed too low, ball two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, 3 and 2. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. First and second now one man out. Come on, man. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. Worth is under it and he makes the catch for the second out. The pitcher number 50, Rafael Brandon Nimmo, will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Sent on the ground out to second, gloved by Murphy. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Your Jose Lobaton is going to be asked to get things going pitcher, here as a lead off the top Jose of the eighth. Lobaton. Josh Edgen comes on to start the Number inning 66. and he'll have a huge lead to work Josh with. Edgen. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. And here's a ball hit in the air but this will land untouched. He'll try again one two hold high in the air out to left field there to take it is Cespedes is one away the moving matter, closer seven. towards our conclusion Georgia. now eight Ray. two the count in this one as our line score will give you a look at how we got to this point in the contest the speedy Trey Turner digs in now no hits in three tries so far he struck out once. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 and 2. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And this is knocked down on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at Center first. Fielder, number two. Adam in now is Eaton. Adam Eaton. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. The 2 1 pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit out towards second. 
played on the backhand. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. Still eight to two. Blake Trennan comes on to pitch now, now hoping for, for better Washington. results than the other Number arms 45. that they've run out there in this one. Blake Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes. He's been scorching hot at the plate in this one. Four hits, including a big fly thus far. Ready to deliver the one and two. On the ground, up the middle. Turner has it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Outstanding range on display that time, and here's the data from Showtrack. I didn't think he was going to get to that one, but he did, and then to complete the play, he made a fantastic throw right on the money. That batter's got to feel like he got robbed on that ball. Into the box now, T.J. Rivera. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. One out, nobody on. Hard hit towards center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. The right fielder, number 30. Ready for another Michael shot now. Conforto. Michael Conforto looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Bullet back up the middle. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Running hard, he's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Uh, I love the hitting streak. I was glad to see him get that knock. I was hoping we weren't going to jinx him. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 3-1 pitch. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Well, Matt, he's really been struggling recently. But this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. Standing in now, David Wright. A tough sinker on the inside corner. The one and two pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Runners at the corners, two men out. Full count, three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and gone. Umpires are signaling for a home run, but boy, that was very close. And now hold on just a second here. You can see the four umpires gathering near third and it would appear that they're going to discuss whether this in fact stayed inside the foul pole and I would guess that after all the discussion they're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay and that is indeed what they'll do as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. All right, the video review seems over, and the home run is indeed going to stand. So the replay will uphold the original call, and that was a case of better safe than sorry. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. 
Three and one now. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line drive to left. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. He's been looking really now good. Batting. Another hit. Catcher. Another multi-hit game. Rabbit. This hot streak oh, has been no. really fun to watch him perform. In now, Travis Darno pitches way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. The one and two pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets 11 and the Nationals 2. The 7 train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Here's Daniel Murphy now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them too. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two. What well, good inside fastball right there trying to tie the hitter up trying to keep him from getting those arms extended a pitcher's pitch. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. In now is Anthony Rendon comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Runners on first with one down. Hit hard on the ground to first to second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. 11 to 2 is the way this ball game ends. The New York Mets get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Robert Gesellman gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he goes six plus innings and allows only a pair of base hits. Tanner Roark permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. 11 runs, 16 hits. No errors. Left eight minutes. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to track at the wall. He got it. NCRT caught it on the wall. And the Braves have beaten the Mets. Incredible catch to save the game. And the Braves have stunned New York tonight. They've stunned a lot of people tonight.